Thank you. Today, what is making headlines? We have Apenyo Markin criticizing Jane Nana's choice as running mate. So let me quickly go into that story. When I finish reading, as you pen your thoughts down so we can have a discussion on the issue. Now go to citynewsroom.com and you can get that entire story over there to also have a view. Apenyo Marking withdraws comment on Professor Opoku Ajeman. That is by Ni Ayikwe Okai. The majority leader, Alexander Apenyo Makin, has withdrawn remarks he made about the NDC's running mate, Professor Nana Jane Opoku Ajeman, during his debate on the State of the Nation address. The minority caucus was incised, or yes, incensed by the majority leader's assertion that the selection of Professor Nana Jeno Pokwajiman, a woman in her 70s, as the NDC's running mate, indicates a lack of succession planning and visionary leadership within the NDC. The majority leader's initial refusal to retract his comment, as requested by the minority caucus, led to a disruption in the debate, resulting in the second deputy speaker, Andrew Isiyama Mwakun, suspending the House's proceedings. Upon retracting his comment, Mr. Apenyo Marking stated, and I quote, colleagues expressed a concern about the issue of age, Mr. Speaker. The submission was to the effect that our opponents don't have a clear succession plan for the future, not to, de den to denigrate their running mate based on age. So I would draw that aspect of the submission that referred to her age as basis of my contention. Paul, <laughs> what do Once you think? Again, uh, good morning, Elaine, and, and good morning to your viewers. Right. Um, it's, it's most unfortunate the statement coming from um, the Honorable uh, Majority Leader, and for that matter, Afenyo Markin. Um, it is myopic, and if you ask me, very infantile. Mm for especially an honorable member of a house yeah. to attempt to sort of denigrate the very credentials of uh, the, the professor um, uh, running as um, the vice uh, uh, um, presidential you know, uh, candidate for the NDC. Uh, what I find worrying is the attempt to sort of dismiss what um, the professor brings to the table Forget about age, all right? Let, let, let's, let's not even go there. Mm. Let's look at prior to 2016. We know the central region to be a swing region. Yeah. And take it or leave it. Today, the NDC will enjoy um, the next minute you have the MPP taking over, and it's been like that for years. In the 2016 election, the NPP... Um, had about, what, uh, 19 or so seats as far as the constituency is concerned. There are 23 constituencies within the central region. Yeah. All right. And then when she came on board in the 2020 elections, guess how many seats the NDC garnered? The NDC had, ten, in fact, nine more seats that were gained just because of uh, uh, prof the professors, you know, uh, coming on board. That should tell you or that should signal you the sort of, you know, um, weight she that the carries. woman carries. You know, she was also able to pull about 300,000 more votes um, for JDM in the region. And if it is also anything to go by, Let's look at, you know, prior to even being picked as, as the running mate. She was, I mean, the vice chancellor for a whole university. Then also became the education minister. Yeah. All right. So in terms of experience, she, she comes in with a wealth of experience. And I do not think that it is in the place of the Honorable Afenyo Markin to sort of denigrate you know, the image of the selection choice of um, JDM, all right? I was hoping that we will look at what she can do rather than look at the age bit. If we consider that part, it will mean that 
we are not really giving voice to the women who would like to come into politics. And then because at the end of the day, the assumption is that even when you come, um, your age factor will be brought you know, to the fore and you may not even be counted. What am I saying? What I'm saying is that, listen, we have an affirmation, uh, affirmative bill before parliament. The affirmative bill is seeking to give some form of room to our women just so they can also have their voices being heard even in parliament. Unfortunately, that thing has not materialized. It's still before parliament. Yeah. And then where you have people availing themselves to be voted upon or to, to lead or take leadership positions and we have members of parliament attempting or sort of trying to denigrate them, then I really do not know where we are heading mm. as, as a country. Then it means that our democracy really has, has not grown that well. And for a no less a person than a majority, majority leader, leader in parliament, mm. you know, make such statements then it's, it's most unfortunate, all right? So I still stand my, by my point that it is myopic on his part to attempt to think that uh, the professor comes in with nothing or better yet, there's no... In fact, there is a strategy in place. Mm. Mind you, I'm not speaking for the NDC. <laughs> that was what I was <laughs> Let, about let's to Let's all be clear. <laughs> I'm, I'm not speaking for the NDC. But facts are facts. Right. Listen, she represents the central region. Mm -hmm. She is representing women. And if they win... Listen, that is a whole history on its own. Right. We've not had a, 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 vice, a female vice president. Right. And so coming on board and um, with the possibility staring, if JDM wins, she becomes the first the female, first female vice, you know, president vice president this nation has ever had. Yeah. All right. And if there's anything at all, the women will also be clamoring to support her. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Even in the 2020 election, she was able to garner as much Nine. as... 300,000 votes within the central region for JDM. Mm. That should count for something. That's a plus. All right? And then gaining nine more seats for the NDC within that same region. Mm. It's also a plus. Of course. And so I, I think that we should not discredit um, the choice of JDM. Um, eventually, uh, we know that JDM is, if he, he wins, is going to be in power for the next four years. All right? So after four years, chances are that he will go out with the professor. With the professor. And the good news will also be that the NDC will come in with new faces. And they will also come in and ride on the achievements of JDM. And that will mean that if they also win... If you are not careful, they will also end up spending eight more years, you know, putting the NPP in opposition. And if we also look at the other side, if NPP wins, it will mean that JDM and um, the professor may not come into the picture mm. anymore. And then it will be new faces that will be headlining uh, the NDC uh, come uh, 2020, uh, no, 2028, and then... Uh, uh, the, the four the years after. So, years after. If, if we are to put all of this in proper perspective, uh, honestly, I, I was appalled by, by, by the statement mm. uh, by the Honorable uh, Majority Leader. It's, it's most unfortunate, and I believe that all of us must come together to condemn uh, the statement he made. It was good that he, he retracted. He retracted it, and, finally. And, and I was hopeful that he would even apologize, you know, um, for that statement so that we can make progress as a nation. Look, our democracy has come of age mm. and it is high time we respected it as such. Thank you. Thank you very much. Larry, yeah. <coughs> is it, is it um, okay to mm. look down on the intelligence of Jainana Mensah, not even look at it from a different perspective of what she may be able to bring to the table for getting her age? Elaine. Yes, ma. How old are you? Oh, on TV. <laughs> okay, you've known Miss me Chief. for years, so you should know. How old are you? You've known me for years, Miss so you should know. <laughs> we, we grew up together, so you should know. <laughs> you know, on TV. You put me on the spot, Larry. <laughs> but why? You see, I, I, at this gender, I think my point is made. No. 
It yeah. is not. <laughs> it's made. No, it is not made. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my days, Larry. <laughs> Larry, answer my question. <laughs> you know, the point has not been made. You know, my point has been made. Listen, what do you... There are certain <laughs> things that women don't feel comfortable talking okay. about. Yeah. Age is one. Yeah. And... Please, please. You, you just don't use me as a No, you just demonstrated no, it. It is TV. Ask yeah. me outside. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is the other one. Okay. And let me incite myself as a personal example. There was a day, one of my classes, then uh, we were to get this particular lecturer, a female lecturer. And uh, when she came, I think a couple of, you know, uh, my friends and I, we went out there, you know, digging around as to who she was. And so eventually when she came, she introduced herself and we were to also introduce ourselves. After that, she asked whether we had any question to ask. Mm. So then I asked, oh, are you married? We. Oui. Thank you. And How then, does that concern you? Uh, thank you. Uh, and the business? whole class Ready went, I mean, dead. You can imagine. No, I can't. <laughs> you can imagine. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and to a point where, I mean, that question that I, took, I thought was innocuous, Went mm. all the way to administration. Oh, wow. Thank you. Wow. So the head of the department was, a few minutes later, he was asking, ah, by you, why would you be asking the lady how, uh, sorry, whether she was married or yes. not? Why? So I had to, I mean, I thought that we needed to break the ice. And then, you know, everybody, you see how you are reacting to this? How am I reacting? <laughs> 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 so the so discomfort your, on him. Yes, the yeah. discomfort. <laughs> you get it. So I think that, I mean, I can, I can relate with what happened yesterday, right. okay, and how quickly Afenyo had to come out yes. and then apologize, apologize and so on. Retract. I mean, that is a bit, I mean, maturity, you know, sort of. But if you know the women's world very mm. well, mm. age and marriage. Oh, you do know the women's world. I know world, think, though. oh, I mean, you are my <laughs> friend. So obviously I should know about, you know, mm -hmm. uh, age and marriage and all the things that they talk about. You could be older than her, but even if you ask her how old she, she is. is, I mean... She won't the, tell you. Yeah, she won't no tell you. That, yeah, no matter what. The discomfort, it's, I mean, so, 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 so telling. Mm. Okay. And like he pointed out, I mean, this is a lady who had... Uh, I mean, she's been in and out of the media. Yeah. And then also, I mean, academic-wise, Yes. I mean, she's, she's risen a, to she, where, she has but an upgrade, yeah, yeah she, she has an upgrade, mm. you know, up there, a professor. First of, I mean, the first of her kind yes. to become a vice a chancellor, vice -chancellor yes. you know, and then also minister of education mm -hmm. and all that. So, I mean, she's paid she's her astute. dues. Yeah. You understand, huh? But it's good that if, apparently, I don't think he talked about the fact that he was. Sorry, she wasn't qualified or no, all that and no. so on. It was the age. It's the age it that drew, you know, mm -hmm. blood. And then mm -hmm. a lot of people started, yes. you know, talking. And uh, with a bit about succession plan, mm -hmm. and uh, what else did he say? Let me remind our viewers and yourself with yes, but the, the, all the reading. Yeah, but the, the bit about succession plan, it's something mm -hmm. that is running... You know, of course. Yes, that is in the NDC. Mm -hmm. People are asking that, okay, if JM is going to do just four years, mm -hmm. whoever, is, yeah, him. yeah, somebody has yes. to. And that the NDC has this tradition of, you know, having the vice president taking over from uh, the, president. Uh, the president. So it become like an apprenticeship sort of. Of course. Okay. So that has run. It happened in the case of uh, Professor Mills Professor himself. Mills. Taking over from mm -hmm. Jerry Rollins. And then uh, JM also taking over from Professor Mills. Mills. And so people were asking that, okay, whoever President Mahama, Mahama chooses, chooses as a running mate will definitely uh -huh, she will automatically take over. Uh -huh. But, I mean, the dynamics are different. Mm. He has only four years. Of course. And I think that he didn't also want to rock the boat. No. Okay, that you want to bring in a fresh person, the women will come against you that, ah, you had brought this lady. Yes, why the sudden why, change? Why the sudden change? So... A lot of that debate is going in there within the NDC. Unfortunately, I don't think the NDC communication has been up to it. Mm. You know, marketing the woman 
uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, the, uh, the professor, the professor. Uh -huh, you know, develop adequately, a, adequately mm. develop a strategy, market her more and more. Obviously, the age thing was going to come up mm. because how many? She's 72. She's 72. Two now. Yeah. She'll be 73 in November. November. Okay. I mean, tell the world that, listen, these are the qualities that she's bringing. And forget the age. And forget, uh -huh, and that forget the age. She's a motherly figure, so, so, and so, and so, that, and that, and that. I mean, JM has been this. He has certain plans. He's been at the presidency before. Of course. He's coming back. And then these are the things that he's likely to mm. do. And these are the roles that the lady will be playing. Right. Okay, so develop a strategy, a PR, a PR strategy, able, yes. marketing, strategy, marketing strategy that strategy. goes with it. Mm. Not just the women thing. Of course. It doesn't really work for some mm. people. Okay, so develop a strategy, build her, present her to the people, mm. a motherly figure. Like Johnson celebrated. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Kamala, amazing, yes. you know, Kamala you know, Harris and all that thing, and so yes. on. That this will be the first time that a woman will be yes. going. This morning I was seeing in, uh, in one of the, uh, I think Ghanaian Chronicle also mm. talking about how Vice President Baumia, or oh, sorry, the MPP uh, presidential candidate is oh, considering considering choosing a woman. Choosing a, also yes. choosing yes. a woman. Yes. So then yes. I think that the women thing or the gender thing is uh -huh, mm -hmm. is coming it's coming up this is listen it, yeah. if ndc is to consult me i could say that listen why <laughs> won't you they are consulting you through here oh, they, no, they are well, watching why won't you say that listen john will be the mother sorry will, will play right. a father figure and then uh, the professor that will be a, a mother figure. figure and that is the first time that you could have a situation a mother father kind of mm -hmm. thing Okay, mm. and market that strategy adequately. I think the late Theresa played that, Kufour played that role very yes. well. You, 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 yes, you get that thing. But then also, but this time around, she was... Uh, she uh, was the uh, wife first to lady. her president, exactly. the first lady. This one, but she still played it. Uh -huh. So if this is, she is in the face of the people, yes. then it will be easier for yes, her to play yeah, that exactly. role. Um, awesome. You know, keeping an open door, somebody can always walk up to... I mean, the concerns about ND, the NDC flag bearer is that it's not accessible. <laughs> much so if the lady is going to be very accessible mm. to everybody i mean you will want somebody like that that you can always run to True. she will see things differently she has you know children she's who been are, a teacher before she's been a teacher. somebody yes uh -huh. you know see how he, she was able to mother uh, a, a black one to wherever yes. he is yes. today so those are the things that the party would have to be marketing right. and then they will get less and less aggressive you know, when it comes to some of those uh, innocuous things. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>